The Igbos are responsible for the political economic evil in our Yoruba land, says Are Kurumi Kakanfo. Hello everyone, you're so much welcome. Just when you think you've heard the last of division talks amongst tribes in Nigeria, another one will just come up and you will just wonder to say, are we taking one step forward and 100 steps backwards? A pan-Yoruba activist, Are Kromi Kakanfo, has alleged that the Igbos are responsible for the political and economic evils in Yoruba land. In a statement published on his verified X page on Tuesday, Kakanfo refuted allegations that the Fulanis are the ones or the bone of contention in Yoruba land. Rather, he noted that the Igbos are the real enemies, emphasizing that they want to control the political and economic spheres of the Yoruba people. Kakanfo also alleged that the Igbos are sponsoring cyber attacks on Yoruba women, history and identity on social media spaces. Stating that the Igbos see Yoruba land as their promised land, the activists alleged that they still sponsor all sorts of attacks against the Yoruba people. Kakanfo, who in recent times stated that the Igbos and Yorubas are sworn enemy, noted that this is so because of the domineering nature of the Igbos. Who wants to tell Yoruba men how to rule or your state and also claim the same rights as the Ijaws of Bayelsa? His statement reads To those who continually say Fulanis are the problem of Yoruba land, how many times have Fulanis called Lagos no man's land? How many times has Fulanis tried to become the premier of the Western region? How many Fulanis are trying to become governors, senators, and House of Representatives in Yoruba land? How many Fulanis are trying to take over the political and economic space of Yoruba people in Yoruba land? How many Fulanis are sponsoring cyber attacks on Yoruba women, history and identity on social media spaces? Was it Fulanis who wrote a newspaper article saying no to the Yoruba presidency? Was it Fulanis who sponsored a video documentary called Areo no Kakan for Abiola, a drug baron? Was it Fulanis that spied Areo no Kakan for Akintola? Was it Fulanis who organized protests at the army headquarters in Abuja to ask for the military takeover of Nigeria because Sinumbu won the presidency? Was it Fulani that prevented the secession clause in Nigeria's constitution? Was it Fulanis that worked with the British to prevent the Lagos colony from becoming part of the Western region? Only one ethnic nationality is behind all these woes against the Yoruba people in Nigeria. Yet the same ethnicity is still sponsoring all sorts of attacks against the Yoruba people to date because they see Yoruba land as part of their promised land that must be ruled and controlled by them. We have our pre-colonial issues with the Fulanis in Yoruba land, but most of the evil perpetrated on the Yoruba people politically and economically in Nigeria is from Igbos. Yoruba self-preservation and conservatism are the only ways to put an end to this madness of over 80 years. Hmm. So these are the words of the Are Kurumi Kakanfo on Twitter as you know this has been shared. A lot of people of course have shared their thoughts on this believing that what kind of talk is this and honestly if you are an educated person in 2024 and you're the one person who still believe that whatever thread of unity remaining in, in Nigeria should be strengthened and not cut off finally. Every tribe is important. Every tribe has the bad, the good, and the ugly. Every tribe has a real strength. For example, the Igbos are known for their unapologetic stance on entrepreneurship. In fact, their entrepreneurship uh, method has been adapted as a course in Harvard. And, you know, people are enrolling for the course. So also every other tribes have their own area of strength and weaknesses. However, coming out on a social media space to categorically state that the Igbos are responsible for the political, economic evil in Yoruba land is relative and is capable of causing chaos, capable of causing division, capable of causing unending attacks on each other and only the one who is sensible will know that it's easy for somebody to sit down in the corner of his or her room 
and start typing anything out, which some people, should I call them unimpressionable people, will decide to take hook, line, and sinker and start doing what is not supposed to be done. I think it's high time we need to slam the voices of division. That regardless of wherever we come from, all we, we are together right now, we want peace. Not anybody just stirring the wheels of tribalism whenever they feel like doing so. Because two things make Nigeria very volatile. The first one is religion and the second one is tribalism or ethnicity. Once we are not able to talk about this to every other thing we are still able to manage through. We'd like to hear your comment on this. Please, can you share your comments in the comment section below? What's your thoughts on what Are Kurumi Kakanfua said on this? And let's see whoever will come out to counter what this area said. To either be not well said or to be well said. Because everybody will always see it on different perspective, which is okay. But any thoughts anybody is sharing at this critical moment in 2024 with the hyperinflation that is happening on everything in Nigeria right now, you know that we just want peace and good governance. Is it too much to ask? Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.